class, we are going to see the quality attributes of embedded system. So what is the meaning of quality attributes? So these are the characteristics which determine the quality of your embedded system. This is broadly classified into two types. One is operational quality attributes, and the second one is non-operational quality attributes. Okay, so what is the meaning of operational quality attributes? So the attributes which are related to the quality when the system is in operational mode, you call it as operational quality attributes. Okay, now this operational mode can also be called as the online mode because your system is working. Fine, online mode. Fine, now let us look into the characteristics one by one. The first one is the response. Response in short can be called as the quickness. Okay, now let us take an example. You have a flight control system, fine, and you have an embedded system for this flight control, fine. Now, how this embedded system should work in flight? It should respond very quickly. Let us take, for example, there is something wrong in the flight. So how should the system respond? The, response should, the system should respond very quickly. If it does not respond, what happens? It leads to catastrophic effect. So what is catastrophic effect? Catastrophic effect means this causes damage to both property and life. It causes damage to both property and life. So how should the embedded system in flight work? It should work very quickly. That is called as the response. So this is a critical system. Okay, but the response should be very quick. Now let us take a toy car. This is non-critical system. So even here, if the response is late, it is not going to cause any catastrophic effect because this is just a toy car, toy, toy flight, okay? So the next characteristic you are going to see in the operational type is your throughput. So what is throughput? Throughput is nothing but the efficiency. Okay, so it defines the rate of operations over a period of time. Okay, rate of operations over a period of time. So now let us take the example. We have a card reader. Okay, fine. So how do you define the throughput of this card reader? The throughput of this card reader is the number of transactions that can happen over a period of time. For example, let us take one hour. So the number of transactions you can do in one hour is called as the throughput. Okay, this is always measured as benchmark. Okay, so what is a benchmark? Benchmark is a reference point, okay? Benchmark is nothing but, it is a reference point for comparing the output, okay? It is a reference point for comparing the output. So we have studied two characteristics. First is the response. Response means quickness. Second is the throughput. Throughput means efficiency, okay? Now let us look into the third characteristic. Third characteristic is reliability. So from the word itself, you can understand. Okay, reliability means how much you can rely on the system you have developed. Okay, how much you can rely on the proper working of the system. Fine, there are two terms which we use to measure reliability. One is MPBF and the other is MTTR. So what is MTBF? It is mean time between failures. Okay, mean time between failures. MTBF. Okay, next is MTTR. So what is MTTR? It is mean time to repair, mean time to repair, okay? So these two things are 
two important factors in measuring the reliability. So what is MTBF? MTBF is the frequency of failures in hours or weeks or months. So this is the frequency of failure. For example, you have a system. The system has failed this week, okay? You go correct it and again, you come and install the system. Again, in the next week, there is a failure, okay? So this MTBF fact de defines the frequency of failures, okay? It can be in weeks, it can be in months, or it can also be in years, okay? So the next is MTTR. So what is MTTR? It is mean time to repair. So what is this going to define? It is going to define how long it can be out of order after failure. Okay, so how long it can be out of order okay, after failure. So I have taught you two different systems. Okay, one is critical and the other is non-critical. Now let us take the first example, your critical system. So after failure, now let's take there is a failure in flight. Immediately, you should make it right, okay? So this MTTR should be very, very small for a critical system. Okay, now let's take a non-critical system. You have a system for entertainment. This MTTR can be a lit, little bit long because it's just for, con for your convenience and that is not going to cause any catastrophic effect. So this MTTR should be very little or very small for your critical system. And for a non-critical system, it is negligible, okay? So the third characteristic is reliability, where we studied two terms. One is MTBF and the other is MTTR, okay? Now we have the fourth characteristic, which is called as the maintainability. So what is maintainability? This is the support or maintenance at the end user. Okay, or your client, support at the end user or client if a failure occurs. Okay, this reliability is indirectly proportional to your maintainability. Okay, your maintainability is less when your reliability is more. Okay, when the reliability is very high, then you need only less maintenance. Okay, now you have two categories in this. So let us see what are the two categories. The first one is scheduled or periodic maintenance. Okay, the second one is maintenance to unpredicted unpredicted failures. Okay, now I'm going to exp explain this with the example of the picture which I have shown. Okay, now let us take this as an inkjet printer. Okay, so in your inkjet, inkjet printer, you have to change the inkjet after an n number of print, uh, printouts are being taken. Okay, so this is called the scheduled or periodic maintenance. You know, after taking thousand printouts, printout, you have to change the inkjet. So this is a scheduled or periodic maintenance. Okay, now let's take the second one. In the same inkjet printer, the front feeding part. Now let us take in the same printer, in the front feeding part, okay, there is a failure. This is an unexpected failure. Okay, so this is called as maintenance due to unpredicted failure. Okay, so in both the cases, what you will do is you will bring your system to offline and then only you will fix it. So during this time, your system will not be available, okay? So based on these two things, there is a formula for availability, okay? So availability is given as MTBF by MTBF plus MTTR. So you very well know what is MTBF and what is MTTR. So can you just recall what is MTBF? MTBF is mean time between failures and MTTR is your mean time to repair. So this formula will tell you the availability of your system when it is, when maintenance comes into account, okay? 
So now we are going to the next star, which is your security. Okay, so security is an important aspect in embedded systems nowadays. So now let us take this PDA, personal digital assistance. I will use this PDA to explain security. Okay, so there are three terms in security. First one is the confidentiality. Second one is your integrity. And the last one is your availability. Okay, now I'm going to use this personal digital assistance, assistance to explain all the three terms. Okay, so now your PDA is a shared or an individual resource. Okay, if it is an individual resource, it doesn't matter. But if it is a shared resource, so what you will do, you will create a username and a password, and then you will give the username and the password to the shared resource and he will use it. That is called as the availability. This availability is different from the availability which we, show, which we have seen in the maintenance. So you will create a username and password to provide the availability. Okay, fine. The next, some data is accessed only by the administrator. Okay, it cannot be accessed by all the users. That is called as confidentiality. Okay, only administrators can access the data. Okay, so this is done by using confidentiality. The last one is integrity. So all users can see data, but they cannot change. Okay, all users can read. So this is only read only, okay, but cannot modify. Okay, so these three terms are important in measuring the security of your system. Okay, so now let us go on to the next one, which is the safety. Okay, so safety deals with damages that costs to the people, the operator or the environment. In short, this the catastrophe. Okay, so now let's do a, take two examples. We have a fire alert system. So if there is a fire, immediately the system should, should alert you. Fine. If it is not going to alert you, if there is some damage in the system, what happens? It will not alert and it will cause great damage to life as well as property. Okay. Now, the second example is your boiler. If you have an embedded system in this boiler, which is going to indicate the temperature. And in case, if this sensor fails, Okay, if this sensor fails, what happens? Your boiler will not alert the temperature. And what happens? The oil or water inside the boiler keeps on boiling. And what happens? At one fine point, the boiler starts melting and you get a lot of radioactive substance emitted. Okay, this again is going, going to cause great damage. So we have seen two examples. One is the fire alert system and the second one is the boiler. So this is a sudden system because suddenly if it is not working, it is going to cause great damage. Whereas this gradually, it will cause great damage to life as well as property. Okay, so these are the six important operational characteristics of, which are called as the quality attributes in embedded system, okay? If you have any doubts, you can call me. Thank you.